So Ventura City Hall has been the site of some political unrest here in Ventura, but that is not what this video is about today. I want to talk about the friar faces that we see on the facade. They're between the first floor and the second floor windows. I'd like to discuss more about the history behind them and what they're all about. When we think of Ventura City Hall, we think of city council meetings, permits, tax collections, and other official business of commerce. It's a meticulously designed building with ornate details everywhere you look. So the building I'm currently sitting is the Ventura City Hall, but it wasn't always that. Back when it was first built in 1912, it was actually housed the sheriff's office and the jail. The official opening celebration was in July of 1913 and was conducted over a two-day period with over 20,000 people in attendance. There was even a military presence as the modern warship of the time, the USS South Dakota, was anchored offshore. Speeches were given at Plaza Park and concluded with Aldolfo Camarillo, then chairman of the County Board of Supervisors, formally turned the building over to Ventura. It is the first building in Ventura to be listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The most famous trial that was conducted here in the main courtroom was in 1958. The defendant was Elizabeth Duncan and it was a murder trial. Duncan was accused of hiring two men to kidnap and, and kill her daughter-in-law. Her daughter-in-law's name is Olga Duncan. She was six and a half months pregnant. She was strangled to death. She was then placed in a shallow grave off Casitas Pass Road. It was a five week long trial and eventually Duncan was convicted of the murder. After several failed attempts at appeals, Duncan and her two co-defendants were executed in the gas chamber in 1962. Our most famous criminal housed here at the Ventura Courthouse was a man known as Charles Manson. The story goes, there was a 1952 rickety gray-green school bus that skidded off the road and ended up a deep ditch on Deer Creek Road near Point Magoo. When police came upon the scene, there were naked women running around a bonfire trying to keep warm. Uh, there was a young infant that was naked and cold. Uh, they ended up taking the baby to County General Hospital just for safekeeping and to check on its health. Women were arrested for false identification and vagrancy. One of these women of note was later convicted murderer Susan Atkins. Manson, who happened to be the driver, was booked into Ventura for false identification. A few days later, all were released and they continued on their journey to the Topanga Ranch and the rest was history. So behind me, between the first and second floor windows, there's 24 faces that are made out of terracotta tile and you can see them up on that facade there. Now in the 1930s, the courthouse was expanded the construction, so the annex was built over on the western wing. And it's my belief that the reason I could not find the other three friar faces is that they were probably on that facade, and then when the construction, the two, you know, the annex and the, and the courthouse touched. So I think we might have lost three faces. I don't know that for a fact, but that would be my guess. The faces you see depicted on the side of the facade of the Ventura Courthouse are friars of the Franciscan order. So what exactly is a friar or a mendicant priest? The friars were renounced property and lived in basic poverty, traveled the world. Their survival was dependent upon the goodwill of their listeners. They are a historical reminder that the city of San Buenaventura was one of the nine original towns founded by Father Serra and the Franciscan friars in 1782. Now what makes these things interesting is that when you view them at different times of the day, the, you know, the sun would, would rise in the east and then it sets in the west. So as it moves across the horizon here, the shadows actually change the perceived expressions on these faces up here. So they can be a little bit spooky, they can be a little bit eerie, but it does depict different moods and different times. And so it is kind of a, a very artistic expression um, from the historic past of Ventura. Hey, I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope this is some interesting information that maybe you did not know about Ventura. Um, Ventura is a very small town, but it's just full of nooks and crannies of little bits and pieces of information. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. This is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography.